Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Kyle, also known as Riot, and today we're going to have a little breakdown video for you guys for the second DLC pack, Eclipse. Now this, today we got the Izetsuba no Shima trailer. I'm very, very excited about this. I already looked at this and broke it down a little bit before we started this video. Pointed out a few things, and I want to like to share it with you guys, because I found a lot of things from the uh, Derizen Drock one, so that's why I wanted to do a breakdown for the Izetsuba no Shima one. So it's going to be pretty awesome, guys. If you guys haven't seen the original trailer, it is so awesome. I'm super, super excited for the Zombies map. It comes out next week, a week from today. You guys are going to watch my first attempt at that. That's going to be amazing. I can't wait. So let's just start this all off. Uh, again, if you guys haven't seen the uh, original trailer, you guys can check it out down below in the description. So here we go. And ready for my sure We're going to do a little breakdown. Uh, it's going to be kind of long, my first. So you see right there, Division 9 logo. Uh, starts off. This is, we already saw this part. It was the intro cutscene that we have saw. We saw some nice tropical leaves, plants. Pretty awesome. Okay, I want to pause this right here because this shot is really awesome. This is one of the facilities. I believe this is the actual one that we saw from the concept art. Definitely really awesome. This, this pretty much this image right here represents the map being all overgrown. You guys can see the trees right here, all very creepy. And it's, it's obviously these palm trees and means it's not a tropical island, so definitely been abandoned for quite some time. Now, if you see this thing, this this is kind of weird right here. Um, you guys can see right here we got some apothecan symbols around here, so there's definitely going to be some involvement with apothecan. Kind of obvious. We knew there was going to be some involvement with uh, those and stuff. And the funniest thing is, uh, Takio actually says shadows of evil in this, or, or uh, shadows of of evil or something like that he says that while he's speaking in this which is kind of weird maybe we'll see like an apothecan servant upgrade i don't know just throwing it out there i really think we're gonna find some things towards that we'll see we'll see what's going on but it's just kind of weird that this is a little like ritual type of thing going on uh over there so let's just continue playing uh you can see right here this is inside one of the laboratories very very creepy we have these tentacle weird looking man uh, this honestly reminds me of the Shadow Man for some reason, because this is what the Shadow Man kind of looks like, so I don't know, you can see these, these guys were doing some testing on all this, you can see some plants and a wall weapon over there, I believe that's like the HVK, or what it looks like, I think, but, uh, it's definitely very cool, so let's just continue, very, very freaky, you can see how dark this place is, so, this is definitely gonna be a very creepy map, I cannot wait to see what they're doing, this looks like a catwalk up here as well, pretty, pretty awesome. You can see the zombie, and you got a plane right here, too. So this is one of the barriers we're going to go off of. Um, you can see right here, there's a couple signs, pretty much. These are going to tell you what directions to go. This is just a pathway to the jungle. That's probably one of the, the laboratories. A couple of cool zombies are Japanese zombies, which is awesome. My position right here. Okay, let's just pause it. A couple. Let's just pause it right here for a second. You guys can see they got a characters running. There's some bridges, some barbed wire. Like this, and there's gonna be a lot of rocky slopes in this, which is sick. And this looks like deep, thick jungle, which I'm excited for because it reminds me a lot of Shinonuba. And you can see it's all like foggy throughout this whole scene, so it reminds me a lot of, of uh, the fog map from Call of Duty Ghost. So that's awesome. I love seeing. I actually really love seeing fog. You know, creepy. I, I don't like the shot. I'm not. I'm. I don't like the transit fog. Okay, I'm just saying. Like fog makes things creepy. And it, it just fits this map so good so far. That, I really have no idea what that is. Could be somebody opening a door. We're going to have to see. It looks like this thing is like a little shack type of thing. Overgrown, maybe this is a perk or something inside. A KRM wall by right around there. Pretty cool. Um, you can see this guy, Dempsey, right here as the MX Grand. There's another picture on it later. Or not Dempsey, Nikolai. And you guys can see some Japanese writing. Which is really cool. He's going to be the, probably the directions of the thing. It's going to be awesome. A lot of people are going to be translating all that shit. Some weird little glowing rock thing there, which is odd. Bowie knife in the last shot you guys just saw. You guys can see right here as well. Another shot of the MX Grand with a red dot. So, hey, I'm just going to tell you guys this right now. That we saw the Razor back in the Derizon Drock trailer. So, for this, we're seeing the MX Grand in here. We haven't seen any gameplay with the MX Grand. But we see the MX Grand in place, obviously. And he has a red dot on it. I don't know. This could just be just a tease because, again, they did it with the Razorback in Horizon Drop. But we already know definitely that we're getting two new weapons from this map. And you guys will see that in a few minutes. So here we go. Headshots. Boom. 
this is what's creepy, okay? We've got a bunch of spider webs, guys, and you see these things, they're like mummified little spider cocoon type of things. Is this the cocoon that we're looking for in shadows? I don't know. This is just very creepy. You can see some element 115 rocks. Definitely turn these spiders into like these weird mutant type of things. Like, I cannot wait. This is just very, very creepy, this image. I hate spiders. This, I have no clue. I have no clue what this is. Cool. What did I just say? I have no clue what the hell this is. I'm thinking it's going to be some sort of soul chest type of thing, but I have no idea really what to expect from this God, just look at this like you don't know at first i thought it was a pod but i'm like I, I just don't know so that's about noshima i think i said that right got a catwalk up here cool the classic zombies laugh amazing okay very cool indeed you can see right here we got picture of the hg40 thank god we're getting this gun back or the mp40 that's awesome. Let's hope we don't get it from we don't have to get it from supply drops or anything. Oh, please don't do this. Um, very cool. This I'm not too sure of either. Like that's one of those plant things too. Maybe they could just be traps or something because they, they obviously will probably they might help you because like you can see they just took that zombie off. Mystery box, classic mystery box, awesome Argus. Um, cool, another Argus shot. Death machines returning. Thank God. And this. The plane crashing down. So I'm not sure if this is going to be for an Easter egg or if this is going to be for the map itself. Like it, we're going to have to trigger something, maybe call an airplane, shoot it down, or something like that. So like we do with Dempsey, I think it's going to be some sort. Of, I don't think it's going to be for an Easter egg. I think it's going to be something required to get like pack a punch or something. I'm not too sure. Maybe open a different path because it looks like you'll see right now when I hit play. When the plane crashes, all the debris and stuff is all tangled up in this tree line right here so it's just really weird uh it's either that or this is just another plane that has crashed because in the original image we did see a plane falling down and then we did see this sort of plane on the ground too so it could just be two different planes entirely not the same one we really don't know for sure but this is an awesome trap the traps on this map are absolutely awesome so you can see right here the blade from the plane comes down and just chops everything up that is so awesome monkey bombs returning and i want to pause it right there so you guys can see over here i'm not gonna I'm, i was gonna try to zoom in on it but you guys probably can't see it but there's a map of uh of the the zetsuba nushima this is the uh, division 9 facility that's uh, pretty much the whole map of it all which is really cool easter egg they, they put into this map i think somebody actually made a uh reimagined version of it like they drew it out on pen and paper i'll try to link it in the bound below in the description if you guys are interested in that but uh yeah so let's just continue playing the trailer Really awesome, Monkey Bomb's returning. I'm gonna try to point out some more stuff because there's some more stuff coming in the end I wanna talk about. But yeah, let's continue. Explosion. Right here, this is cool too. I like how they add these little getaway things. Pretty sweet, just simply get away. This is weird, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be from the underwater area. You guys can see, right there, he comes right out of the water and goes on, so that's just a little getaway. Okay, so this is the communication sensor, so this is gonna be sort of like the comms room. Juggernaut's returning, obviously. <laughs> If they didn't have Juggernaut, screw this game. I see you got some more of the comms room back there, which is definitely very, very interesting. Then we also have the Marshalls, guys. This is the Marshalls. I'm so excited. Here's the thing, okay? I want to talk about this a little bit because the Marshalls, they don't look like they're upgraded at all. So we're going to see these things dual wield automatically when we get them from the box. Maybe it'll, it'll be like sort of like how the CZ-75 was from Black Ops 1. You can get a single or dual wield. I don't care. This is just awesome. I just hope we don't get out of supply drops. All right. So that's awesome. Another thing, right here. What the hell is this? You guys can see this right here. There's a death machine, obviously, pretty cool. But what is this right here? It almost looks like a Venus flytrap. Maybe if you get this, like we saw before, uh, that zombie getting eaten by some sort of Venus flytrap like a thing, maybe this activates everything around the map. So, sort of like how security was working from uh, exo zombies, maybe it'll do sort of the same effect. But sort of summon all of those plants to eat all the zombies for you or something. Maybe, maybe we'll do something like that. But you can see right here up on the screen too. There's something, some sort of like, definitely something on the screen there. We're gonna obviously. This looks like the facility with all the bodies and, and crap in the tubes. But uh, we're, gonna, we're just gonna have to wait and see for a week, guys. Like I don't know. This might be the longest week of my life. I don't know. But um, another trap. This one's sick. Basically, just sucks the zombies in. It's pretty awesome. <sighs> Spiders, guys. 
spiders <laughs> they're returning I, pr I really think this is going to be some sort of like boss round i think this is going to replace the dogs uh or maybe if you go into that spider web looking area that's might might be where they spawn from i honestly i'm not too sure about that uh but it does look like they actually do in fact shoot webs because you can see right here it's either they have widow's wine or they're shooting webs out of them so i don't know i really hope to see a new perk on this map as well really hope so you see it's very interesting another part underwater area so i'm not too sure how you're gonna unlock it zombies look like they're spawning down here i really think there's gonna be a way to pack a punch but you can see there's there's an entrance on the other side and there's an exit over here so you probably won't be in, uh staying underwater for too long maybe there'll be a perk based on underwater i'm not too sure but it's really, really cool how they have an underwater area providing all these different elements that we see in the multiplayer. Uh, but yeah, continuing. <laughs> this is going to be, this is we're going to talk about a lot, guys. This zombie, look, it's a normal zombie, and he turns into this, I, I don't even know, he looks like that guy from Guardians of the Galaxy, whatever his name is. I, 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 I honestly, is blank right now. But guys, let's talk about this for a little bit. So... I think this is going to be sort of like a Margwa, how Margwa is. You guys can see these three spots on him. This could be maybe his weak spots. Shoot them out. Different areas and that will kill him maybe. And then you can shoot him in the head. I honestly don't know what to expect. It looks like some sort of, again, like some tree looking monster. Because you can see these, his arms and stuff very much look like these branches behind him. And look at his face right there, dude. That's something that... It just creeps you out. Like he's he's coming for you, man. He's he's coming. I don't know. This is gonna be a very creepy map. This map, this whole trailer just gave me like the chills almost. Cause I always wanted just this creepy map, and it definitely delivered. It's it's so dark. Definitely very different than. Uh, I actually was not expecting uh, something like this. Some some type of boss like this. To be honest with you, um, I don't know. I really cannot wait to see. I hope this map is actually difficult. Hope it's a difficult zombies map. I really want a challenging one. I don't know. I can't wait. What do you guys think about this trailer? I think that's it. Black Ops 3 Eclipse. Here we go. It comes out next week. So I hope you guys did enjoy this. It was kind of lengthy. If I missed out on anything, if you guys found anything, please let me know. I kind of just skimmed through it a little bit before I started recording. So there could be some things that I did, in fact, miss. But that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you have not seen this trailer already, you just want to see the full length and its glory. You guys can click the link down below in the description. So my name is Kyle. Once again, please subscribe for more zombies videos and stuff like that. I'll see you guys later. Peace.